Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will show you how to install a SATA hard drive in the newer technology MiniStack enclosure. Though these instructions are only for the SATA versions of the MiniStack, they are accurate for both the V2.5 and the V3. We have gathered our materials and are working on a static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. We have removed the pieces from their packaging. The drive and the enclosure top can be set aside for now. Turn the enclosure over and you will notice the heat sink. This needs to be detached by removing these two screws. Once you've detached the heatsink, you can set the rest of the enclosure aside. Set the heatsink over the bottom of the hard drive so that if the SATA connectors are to the right, the notch in the heatsink will be closest to you. In the small plastic bag that comes with the mini stack, there is a piece of capped on tape and screws with two different threads a thicker thread, and a thinner one. Separate the screws, making sure to include the ones you just removed from the heatsink. You will only need four of each type. Any extra ones are spares. Using the thicker threaded screws, attach the heatsink to the drive. Attach the drive's power and data connectors to the appropriate cables in the mini stack. Once they are attached, place the drive into the enclosure so that the heat sink goes through the large hole in the bottom. Align the screw holes and secure the heat sink back into place using the narrow threaded screws. Once you have done that, turn the assembly over. Use the piece of yellow capped on tape to secure the thermal sensor over the spindle of the drive. Make sure all the cables are seated inside the enclosure Then push the top cover into place until the snaps engage. 